Hi everyone, so last year I uploaded a video on how to blend your eyeshadow like a pro and it was very well received. I'll link it below in case you haven't seen it, but I still get questions about blending. So I decided to, I suppose, do a follow on video with a few more tips and tricks and now let's get started. The first thing that I want to stress is to apply an eyeshadow base, so whether that be a dedicated eyeshadow primer or a base, or some foundation or concealer, just coat the eye area with some sort of a product. When doing this, you want to work with a light hand if you're using a liquid or a cream product, and when it's time to set the base, you've got creases like this, don't apply powder straight away. This can happen if you've over applied the primer or sometimes if you just aren't quick enough to set it in place. No worries though, just pat your finger or brush over the top to smooth out the creases and then apply your powder, otherwise you're just setting the creases which naturally is counterproductive. Setting your primer or base I think is essential if you've applied the primer and didn't set it. For me personally I just find that the eye area is then left feeling too tacky and then when you apply your shadows on top like so, they won't blend with ease, the shadows will skip and crease and the longevity in general just won't be there. But after you've got your primer and powder in place, then you've got a nice smooth even base to blend your shadows on top of and this will definitely make the blending process that little bit easier. I discussed brushes in depth in my previous video and today my main blending brush is going to be this one here, it's the Sedona Lace EB09 Universal Blender. Probably the most commonly used blending brush, it isn't too dense, it isn't too fluffy, it's just perfect for applying and blending shadows in general. If you've followed me for any length of time, you'll know I always bang on about blending your colours from light to dark, it's key to getting that really nice gradient effect and in turn that professional finish to your makeup look. Application wise, I find back and forward motions pushes the colour into or onto an area, so in this instance the crease. It just helps me deposit the colour into the crease. Now I can blend with this type of motion as well. So after blending back and forth a couple of times, the majority of the product will be off of my brush. And at this point I can then go back and forth in the crease again. And each time move my brush up a little higher and this will fade the colour upwards. The eyeshadow should fade out to nothing the closer to the brow bone it gets. Another way I like to blend my shadow is to firstly lay it down in an area using back and forth sweeping motions and again once the majority of the product is off of my brush I then this time use circular motions to buff and blend that eyeshadow upwards so that it fades out towards my brow bone. As you can see I'm just working the colours from light to dark, each appearing like a halo over the other. And as I mentioned previously, this just creates a gradient effect and adds depth to the makeup look, giving it that really professional finish to the eye makeup look. A smoky eye can be done with one blending brush, especially if you do like I do and work your colours from light to dark. Otherwise, if you don't have a couple of blending brushes to hand, just clean off your brush on a tissue as you go. But I kind of feel as the colours get deeper, your brush should get smaller. I do find that helpful because the darker colours are focused to a particular area and you won't be able to apply eyeshadow very precisely with a very large blending brush for example and that's why you'll always see me using a small pencil brush to apply let's say a black eyeshadow to the eye like I am now. I usually apply to the outer third of my eye where I want to create some depth and you can of course lay down the eyeshadow with the pencil brush and then use your blending brush to fade it into the other shadows. Personally, I like to apply and blend with my pencil brush, but it's just personal preference. If you're having trouble blending, but you don't want to add more colour, go in with a face powder and blend over that edge, and it just softens things nicely, like I said, without adding any more product. Or, if you've blended your shadow up too high towards the brow bone and want to tone it down a bit and pull the colour back down, the powder will work great for this purpose too. But then that's it! So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a like, commenting and subscribing and I'll chat to you all soon.